Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Skudobuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W47C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And this is the eighth in a series of videos in which I talk about item elevator design. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the item, uh, the uh, options for the activator of an item elevator. Uh, and uh, just a quick recap, um, the, uh, the activator uh, represented by the brown blocks uh, down here. Um, the activator is responsible for driving and coordinating the mechanisms of the elevator, which can include the barrier block, the levitator block, uh, and the regulator. Uh, those mechanisms will always include the levitator block, uh, that black block back here, um, uh, but they can also include the barricade block and the uh, regulator. Okay, um, now there are really only two categories of activators, uh, clocks and uh, triggers. Um, a clock is going to activate uh, the mechanisms continuously, uh, regardless of whether there are items in the stream. Uh, um, this clock here is only an example. <laughs> you probably don't want to use this clock. Um, uh, but the, the nature and the timings of the clock uh, would, of course, depend on the mechanisms. Um, the clock is probably going to be nearby, um, uh, uh, under the water channel, say, or a bit to the side, um, just in order to uh, facilitate the necessary wiring. A, a trigger, uh, on the other hand, um, needs to be placed in the water stream, okay? uh, it, because a trigger activates the mechanisms only when items are detected in the stream. Uh, and there are really only three possibilities for triggers. Uh, we've got uh, pressure plates, uh, weighted pressure plates, and tripwire. Uh, the pressure plate uh, actually needs to be a wooden pressure plate uh, because stone pressure plates can't detect items. Uh, and it's got to be placed on a block of packed ice or a slime block. Uh, it can't actually be placed on regular ice. Uh, and um, uh, keep in mind that the, uh, um, that the minimum activation time of a pressure plate is 10 redstone ticks, uh, so the circuitry is going to have to accommodate that. A weighted pressure plate uh, um, actually uh, has to, uh, it probably is going to be an iron pressure plate. Um, it doesn't actually make sense to use a gold pressure, pressure plate here since um, items will probably be passing uh, over quickly and erratically. Um, uh, so a gold pr pressure plate really just doesn't make sense. Um, a, a weighted pressure plate also has to be placed on a block of packed ice or a slime block. Um, uh, again, it can't be placed on, uh, uh, on regular ice because um, pressure plates can't be placed on transparent blocks and regular ice is, uh, is a transparent block. Uh, now, a weighted pressure plates, if I remember correctly, have a shorter activation time uh, than regular, uh, regular pressure plates. Um, so weighted pressure plates, I think, have a minimum activation time of 5 redstone ticks uh, versus the 10 redstone ticks for the uh, wooden pressure plate over there. Uh, and uh, of course, then the circuitry is going to have to accommodate that. Uh, also, um, keep in mind that um, this, a signal from coming from a weighted pressure plate is going to probably have to be boosted by a redstone torch or a redstone repeater, uh, and that's because a single item coming across the stream is going to produce a signal only uh, of a strength of one coming off this pressure plate. Uh, okay, so the other option is uh, trip, actually tripwire uh, that can be used, and that's because the uh, hitbox of the tripwire actually goes all the way down to the bottom there. Uh, and um, uh, a tripwire can be used both over packed ice uh, or slime blocks or, uh, or also regular ice, uh, depending upon the blocks that are underneath the uh, tripwire hooks. If, um, if you want to use regular ice, um, you'd have to replace these solid blocks uh, with something like stairs or something, uh, something that is, uh, is considered a transparent block or has a, a transparent uh, surface. Uh, so, um, well, let's see, and uh, the, the one thing to keep in mind with uh, tripwire is that you have to make absolute certain that the items aren't going to have any lateral velo velocity in the water stream when they pass through the tripwire because you don't want items getting stuck here. Uh, now remember, when items uh, have lost their lateral velocity, they're not going to gain it unless there's, um, uh, unless there's a lateral water flow. And as a consequence, they're traveling in a perfectly straight line. So it, even if an item is all the way up over to the side, it's still not going to catch on uh, catch on the edge here, uh, as long as it has um, as long as it has no lateral velocity in the water stream. Uh, so it's it's okay to have these open blocks, um, but uh, the items uh, have to um, uh, be aligned so that they don't have any lateral velocity as they're coming down the stream. Uh, okay, and. Uh, 
the the um, other drawback here with tripwire is that um, you're going to have to have a sign on at least one side. Um, uh, you don't have to have it on the upstream side if the water flow ends on this block. Um, but uh, you will have to have at least one sign on the other side, so you're going to have at a minimum two bare blocks of ice, uh, and that's because otherwise water is going to destroy the uh, the tripwire. Uh, so um, you will have to have um, uh, either two or three bare blocks of ice, so items are going to have to have uh, a significant enough velocity in order to cross that uh, without getting stuck. Uh, okay, so um, one thing that I have been, uh, it was pointed out to me that I've been failing to mention as pros and cons of my other videos uh, is, um, uh, is uh, I haven't really been talking about lag and, um, and lag uh, uh, and a lot of these different mechanisms have pretty significant differences when it comes to uh, how much lag they introduce or, or have the potential to introduce. And a clock here is obviously going to be the worst choice with respect to that because it's continuously causing redstone updates. Uh, which means that it's far preferable to detect items in the stream, uh, I suppose, depending upon how complex the, re uh, the rest of the circuitry becomes. Uh, so um, the, um, uh, the triggers, uh, the pressure plate, weighted pressure plate, and tripwire are going to be preferred to a continuously running clock. Uh, all right, um, that is it then for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing how to uh, uh, take a choice from each one of these different four components and combine them into a working elevator. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.